Welcome back. It's time for the last chapter of Flatfoot Fox and the Case of a Nosy Otter. I hope you enjoy this last chapter. Thank you. Chapter 6. Mysteries Wanted Well, said Secretary Bird, I'm glad to see the case of the nosy otter is over. Mrs. Chatterbox Otter was so happy, she almost forgot to talk. Yes, Flatfoot Fox agreed. I'm happy we finally found her son. Why are otters so curious? Secretary Bird wanted to know. It's just the way they are. They can't help it. Aren't you ever curious? Asked Flatfoot Fox. Secretary Bird was puzzled. Curious about what? About anything. Secretary Bird thought and thought. No, I'm never curious, he answered. I don't have a curious bone in my body. Flatfoot Fox laughed. Now that's curious. Secretary Bird laughed too. After a while, he said, I guess all's well that ends well. Don't say that, Flatfoot Fox ordered. You sounded just like Lame Brain Swan. Secretary Bird was surprised. But isn't all well that ends well? Never mind, Flatfoot Fox told him. Both were quiet for a long time. Flatfoot Fox kept watching the door. Finally, he sighed. I wish someone would knock. Who? asked Secretary Bird. Anyone at all. There must be somebody who needs my help. How can I be the smartest detective in the whole world if I don't have a mystery to solve? Secretary Bird said, We could put a sign out and have it say, Mysteries Wanted. That would not be dignified, Flatfoot Fox said. They waited and waited. No one knocked. No one opened the door. I think I'll go for a walk, Flatfoot Fox said. Shall I come with you? No, you stay here. Flatfoot Fox reached out to open the door. It was pulled open so hard from the other side, he almost fell over. But he wasn't angry. He smiled. His next case had just arrived. And that is the end of this story. Hopefully you enjoyed.